Today on Coffee Group, we are focusing on mums returning to work when their youngest starts kindy or school. Now, it can be a tough adjustment to share their advice, as popular mum blogger Tui Fleming and parenting coach Nick Gaze. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Uh, nice to have you both here. Let's talk about your own experiences first. Are you both working mums? Tui, was it a difficult decision? I wouldn't say difficult. I think it was a, a surprising decision for me. When I left, um, left my work in the, in the corporate world, I thought I was never coming back. I totally thought I was going to be ensconced as the full-time mum at home forever. Uh, but my daughter turned nine months. She was only nine months old and I just I felt the pull of work. And I think for me it was um, the need to feel of value, not just me as a mum. Of course, you know, we're all so valuable mm. to the little humans we're raising, but it was the idea of needing to feel that I was contributing something of value outside the home so yeah. it, it wasn't hard. Yeah because sometimes as a mother you do lose your own sense of identity mm, don't you? You've just got this little, little thing. What about you Nick? Yeah I mean I probably re-entered on my, my own terms which not a lot of people get to do but what that meant was that I always felt I was able to prioritise the kids and be able to see them as my mm. gauge on how things were going. Mm. Um, so their grandparent days were my work days and I worked a lot in the evenings and so it kind of really made it fit mm. around them. And I think for me, it, um, it, it sort of like completed me. You know, there's skills and there's um, aspects of your personality that you just don't get to mm. express at home with young children that you get to develop out in the, mm. um, in the workforce. Totally. And of course, obviously, a lot of parents go back to work because it's uh, essential. They need the, the financially, yeah, they need to do yeah. so. And Nick, is it normal to feel the guilt? Yeah. Well, I, I just think guilt is part of motherhood. Um, and I remember when I had my first child and somebody said to me, um, oh, you'll know what it feels like to be guilty, you know, to feel guilty. There's always something to feel guilty about. And so I think that, uh, like with my children, I've always talked about swings and roundabouts. There's mm. things that we can do because I work and there's things that we can't do because I work. And um, there's definitely some benefits that come out of uh, me being in the workplace that impacts the whole family. Mm. Um, I think we talk about that a little bit later. But mm. yeah, I think there's always there's always something to feel mm. good about. Mm. Um, Tui, what about you, transition-wise? How can you make that transition from stay-at-home mum to working mum a little bit easier? Mm. I, yeah, I think there's probably two parts to that. There's the practical side of things and then there's the, the mindfulness side of things, which I really kind of holds my heart. I guess from a, a mindfulness perspective, I think probably the best piece of advice that I can give is actually to lower your expectations of yourself and be kind to yourself. <laughs> Lower expectations of everything. <laughs> It, it, the juggle's hard, you know, mm. just last week I was saying that I was managing two sick kids and, and work. It doesn't, mm. it doesn't necessarily get mm. easier and so it's about being kind to yourself and, and one really easy way to do that is just to take me time for yourself. You know, think, think of it like a, a petrol tank, it's finite, there's only so much mm. to go around mm. and so the energy you expend on your kids and on work and your you know, demands yeah. from your partner, you know, you, you need to top yourself up. So, so doing little things for yourself. So me time and set the bar low would be good advice there. <laughs> um, so what about if you delay your start back to work? Does that make it easier? Uh, no, I don't think it makes it easier. The mums that I talk to that have spent longer outside of the workplace actually tend to feel more anxious about returning. You know, mm. a question that they have of themselves mm. is, um, things have changed, am mm. I still relevant? Mm -hmm. And so, and, and what value can I add? Can I still add the value? Mothers make the best workers because they know how to get stuff done really quickly. Right, mm. Totally. Um, Nick, what do you think are the benefits of being a working mother? Well, I, like I mentioned before, that I actually felt that when I went back to work, it made me a better mum because I, I felt really fulfilled in other areas. Mm. And so that when I came home, I was way more present and enjoyed the time and valued the time that I had with them. Um, I think also, like in terms of the whole whānau, is that it's a different dynamic. We kind of work more as a team. And it's like, well, mummy's doing this, so actually that means that maybe somebody else needs to pick up that, no, who can? And um, they can feel then really good about themselves, mm. about contributing into the family and the home life and being part of that team. They don't always feel great about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> um, like, who's sitting at the table tonight? But um, I think it's a really a really great opportunity. And it gives them good life skills for later on yep. too. Yep. Um, just quickly Tui, uh, it's always going to be a druggle. Do you have a sanity saving tip that you definitely do? Oh look, there are so many of them. You know, there's the there's the packing the bags and making the lunches um, the night before. There's definitely we do meditations at home for myself and the kids. The bottle of the wine in the fridge always <laughs> helps. Um, you know, there there are a number of things that you can do, but but also very specific work related things you can do. Like I definitely recommend um, Gallup Strengths Finder, which I'm starting to work with in my own business. That helps people understand and see in black and white the strengths and talents they have. Like yes, mm. I am good at this. This is what I. 
exactly. can offer. And it's real and it's tangible. And don't, so as a parent, underestimate yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, as a Absolutely. mother, you've got huge amounts to offer in the workplace. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you both very much for coming in. Great advice, as always. Lovely to see you. Coffee Group is brought to you by Ann Mum at Pedia Pro 3, the only toddler milk with no added sugars. Now, if you have any worries that you'd like addressed by our parenting panel, you can message us on the Cafe Facebook page. One contributor will win this cool ebook from Ann Mum that allows you to record your own voice. Hang on, wait for it. Sweet dreams, Mike. Here's a special bedtime story from me just for you. That's what I recorded earlier for Mike because he needs a little Mikey bedtime story every now and again. <laughs> Congratulations to Karen McCauley. You can put your own voice in here, Karen. Uh, Karen McCauley-Cook, rather. Uh, you are this week's winner.